Guess who found the spooky sound effects? <laughs> that would be me. <laughs> it is spooky season, so today we're creating this spooky set, doing a few of these viral nail trends and adding my own little twist to some of them. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever time it is, wherever you are. You could be anywhere in the world right now, but you're right here with me, and I appreciate you. So, without further ado, let's get into the nail set. You see here, I've just stuck some base coat on, and just like magic, <laughs> I've got all my tips on. I've got a peel-off base coat on, so there was no prep included in this video, but there we go. We've got our five tips on. I've adhered them with some um, base coat because that's the only thing that sticks to the peel off base coat and now I'm just showing you all these lovely glitters that I'm going to be using encapsulating into the nails this pixel from Glitter Planet which is lovely and then this black glitter I've had for absolutely ages and I had a massive bag of it so I can't tell you where that's from I'm afraid and then those uh, hearts that I showed a minute ago that you'll see again in a sec we're just using the black ones they're from a set that I got from Amazon a long time ago very generic you can find them on there and what I've done is I've put a layer of base coat over all the tips and now I'm sprinkling and placing my glitters where I want them before I cure that in the lamp I do apologize if I sound a bit ill because I am a bit ill <laughs> I'm quite ill to be honest I feel like crap but anyway, I'm still in a good mood. So I've got all those glitters where I want. And I'm going to wax some base coat on top of them. And I might accidentally move a few of them around with the base coat. But then I will fix that. Um, yeah. So if, um, I apologise if I say anything silly or I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm not quite with it. But I've got so much Halloween stuff that I want to get out. And I'm bored of just sitting here doing nothing, so I thought I'd come and talk to you guys. Anyway, I'm adding more glitter because I decided that wasn't enough. You can never have too much, let's be honest. Making sure there's none on my skin and that there's none sticking out on the side walls of the nail. Whenever you're using glitter on your nails, you always just want to make sure there's none sticking out because you're going to end up filing into it. But um, I've done that on all the fingers. I didn't show you for each one because this video is hella long. Um, and I just did the exact same thing and here I am just going over them all again with some base coat before I go in with my poly gel how is everyone is anyone else sick I got stuck in the rain yesterday and the day before and it's that lovely time of the month so I feel like rubbish Um, I bought this poly gel on Amazon the other day on Amazon day and I think I paid like four pounds for it um, I've seen this brand on there a few times before and I, I'd never really heard of it or seen anyone use it but I kept seeing it and then because it was reduced so much I thought why the hell not let's give it a go so we're going to give it a go here once I manage to get it open <laughs> if you like the nails on my other hand they are in my previous video that I uploaded look at that pink colour isn't it gorgeous excuse my sniffling I have um, done the thumb because I just wanted to see, you know, the consistency and play around with it a bit. Um, and now that I've got the hang of it, I'm showing you how I did it. <laughs> um, we are doing a little bit of a, an ombre. So with this, I'm going to do two, well, I guess you call them beads, blobs. I don't know. You say beads with acrylic, don't you? But mm. um, I'm doing one. And in this one, I will get my ombre how I want it. And then I'll stick it in the lamp and cure it for 60 seconds. And then I'll do another one just to build it up a little bit, build up the color and a little bit of our structure. You see, I like dab, dab, dab. And then when it gets to the bit where the ombre is, that's when I really apply the pressure with the brush. With um, poly gel, you don't want to just smush into it. And you don't always tap as lightly as you do with acrylic, because with acrylic, you're guiding it. 
at least you want to move it but not too much we don't want to like poke holes in it and unfortunately well I guess not unfortunately but not all poly gels are the same this one I actually quite like the consistency of it so I'm definitely going to get some more so they were smart to put it on sale because now I'm going to buy some full price ones <laughs> you see I'm using two different brushes I need to get a new brush for poly gel because the little ones that they come with when you get the set are just so small and then these ones aren't made for poly gel they're just made for regular gel and dipping them in the alcohol all the time seems to mess them up but you'll see that I'm just cleaning up my cuticle area making sure it's not touching the skin smoothing it out again and then I'll whack it in the lamp and I'm happy with it not a bad ombre not bad not bad at all it could be better so I'm fixing it <laughs> every time my brush goes out to the side I'm getting a bit of alcohol and then cleaning my brush on a lint free wipe there we go I think that's quite a nice ombre actually hmm. out on the back for me if I do say so myself um, like I said going in with a second bead or blob whatever you want to call it and just going to feather that into the previous layer I don't like there to be any gaps so I'm going to want to completely cover the layer that was on there before I find with poly gel when you add once you've cured you can get lines when you file and you can see where you've added it so you want to try and make sure that you completely cover everything that you've done and I'm just blending it in and building up the colour making our ombre a tiny bit more opaque I can't think for a second there I'm going to shut up for a second because I'm tired of talking and you're probably tired of listening to my voice so I'll let you watch for a bit And once I was happy with that, I stuck it in the lamp for 60 seconds. And now I'm coming with this Born Pretty Clear Poly Gel. And with the Acro Tech or whatever it was called, they didn't have a clear. Um, so I've had to use this one, which I've decided I really don't like. I don't know if all Born Pretty Poly Gel is like this or if it's just mine. But this is solid solid as a rock <laughs> it's so stiff uh, it is a battle to move it around the nail um and i did give up after a while so the filing was hell it was a lot of filing because it was just so thick and lumpy because i couldn't move it around i'll leave you to watch me struggle with it and i'll come back in a minute I'm just gonna go and blow my nose <laughs>
see how I'm aggressively patting it with the brush. With poly gel, it shouldn't be able to do that. <laughs> it shouldn't be that aggressive, but it is just not moving. I'm literally fighting with it. If I was to do that with the pink poly gel that I'd put on there, there'd be nothing left on my nail. It would all be smushed all over the brush and the sides, but yeah, this stuff was just like cement. <laughs> So yeah, I won't be using that again. I have <coughs> excuse me. I have unfortunately run out of my other clear poly gels that I had. So I'm gonna have to order um some more. I think Prime Day's coming like uh Black Friday is soon, so maybe I'll stock up on some McCart ones off of Amazon then, we'll see. <laughs> I have started to get into enjoying poly gel, so yeah, I think it'd definitely be a good investment to get some more. I wasn't really using it much before, so I'd had the same tubes forever. But now that I uh, am trying to make more videos and and I started to like this poly gel stuff, we'll be doing more of it. So yeah, if you guys like seeing me use poly gel, or if you know of any good poly gel brands other than um, Macar, I think I've so far I've got Macar, and I've just recently got the. Um, Nail Reserve LA, they've just brought out three new colours of poly gel and I really like that but they don't have a clear either why does nobody have clear? is it because they come out like this horrible thing? <laughs> oh dear oh, if anyone knows of a really good clear poly gel other than McCart, let me know I am just going to order some of McCart's but yeah, or if you know any good sets of poly gel that you think I could uh, use a bit easier than this or maybe you've seen some online that you want to try and you want me to try out and let you know what I think I don't know let me know in the comments but yeah I'm gonna shut up again now and I'll leave you to watch me fight some more There we go. Um, I I didn't feel like torturing you with all all the other fingers, so um, I did that battle three more times, and then I put my nails in the lamp for a full sixty second cure. Took them out, and now I'm giving them a, a really good clean with some alcohol and a lint free wipe because we're going to be in for the time of our lives with the filing. Oh dear. Um, after I finished filing these, I actually went to bed. I was that tired. I think it took me about an hour to file them. It was horrific. Not only was it a nightmare to apply, it was hard to file as well. Which is mad because usually with gel, like poly gel, builder gel, anything like that, they usually file so easily. I don't know what is in this stuff, but I, I'm not buying it again. Sorry guys, sorry Born Pretty. If you're listening, I doubt they are. They don't care about me, but yeah. Anywho, I'm starting off with my hand file, trying to smooth out the top layer. Can you see all those divots and <laughs> potholes in my nail? Oh dear, horrific. Anyway, yeah, <laughs> I'll leave you to watch the filing. I'll be back in a minute.
once I finish battling with a hand file, I'm going in with my E file and I've just got this skinny, um, oh, my brain today, mandrel bent, that's it, with a sanding band and I'm just going around the cuticle area, blending it in. Oh dear, yeah. I, uh, maybe maybe that poly gel is what, what's made me ill. Oh, I can't even talk. I'm going to shut up. Bye. <laughs> Before dusting my nails off, I had to dust the camera. There's so much dust. I highly regret not getting my dust collector out but I have finally finished filing them and I'm absolutely covered in dust and I've aged 20 years doing that <laughs> anyway got rid of all the dust wiped them down and now I'm going in with some base coat oh and Judy's come to try and lick my face excuse you excuse me I'm busy thank you um also not only was it a battle that poly gel it's kind of made my nails look milky they're all cloudy mm. you can't see what do you want they've made um can't see the glitters as well like as well as you could before which is sad because there's some nice glitter in there but you know so yeah has anyone else got born pretty's poly gel can you tell me if i got a bad one or are they all like this anyway after I've done my base coat, I've put a matte top coat on because I always say I like to put matte down before I start painting. And now I'm going in with Nail Reserves Black and I'm going to paint a spider web. Didn't like that one. We'll start again. <laughs> I'll leave you to watch because I've got the sniffles and it's gross to listen to. But yeah, I'm painting a spider web. You can just watch there. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, yeah, bye.
it's popping back in again to say you see um i did the long lines with the 18 mil and then i've gone in with the 9 mil to do the short lines and then i'm cleaning up with sorry for the sniffing then i'm cleaning up with some alcohol and then curing that for a full 60 seconds and now i'm going to stick a spider on there with my Makar rhinestone gel I'll pop that in the lamp to cure and I think I just flash cured it and now I'm going in with my top coat just because that glue does have a tacky layer and I want to protect the spider web whilst I'm doing all my other artwork. You also want to go over the metal bits of charms but not over the stones, just the metal bits because they do tarnish after a while and they lose their colour and they go a little bit kind of coppery and stuff. So yeah, I'm going over all of that and the nail. And I'll pop that in the lamp for a full 60 second cure. And I'm, I quite like that. Now on to the next nail. We're doing our... What is it? Our bat. I was going to say ghost. Not yet. We're doing the bat. I've seen this everywhere and I've done it again now this bat nail um, and I can do it a lot quicker and easier but this was my first time doing it so yeah, I think it came out all right but I'll leave you to watch enjoy I do apologise that I keep going out of frame whilst doing this. Oh, a little bit, um, it was a bit awkward. <laughs> I think I had my camera too low down. Hopefully I sort it out. Now you've probably seen, I'm sure you've seen this now a million times and usually what people have been doing is doing a French with the cat eye and then doing the 
um, about over the top. But because we had that nice glitter already, I didn't want to cover that up. So I decided to switch things up a little bit and put my cat eye gel on the back. Um, and I'm using a silver one. And the way I do it, you can still kind of see the black underneath, if that makes sense. So I feel it makes it look like it's, you know, flying in the moonlight, I guess, maybe. I don't know. Maybe I'm just talking out my ass. But yeah. <laughs> I did do two coats of the cat eye. There, it, oh, I don't know what this lady wants. <laughs> um, yeah, sorry, she keeps interrupting. She's so rude. Um, but yeah, I've done it a bit differently. What do you think? I really liked it. I'm obsessed with cat eye gel at the minute. I feel like I'm trying to squeeze it into every set. <laughs> and I thought I'd let you see the magic of the, uh, the magnet. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. <laughs> I then decided we should have a bit of cat eye on every nail and I thought it would look cool having some on the spider web so it looks like you know and it's kind of got a bit of moisture stuck in it that was the kind of vibe I was thinking but I don't know I think I just wanted to put cat eye on everything so yeah I'm making excuses <laughs> anyway now we're doing the ghost and I'm going to paint the ghost shape out in black then I'm going to go in cat eye you know what you can watch I don't need to you're clever enough to see what I'm doing Oh, I thought I'd better explain a little bit. So I've done the black base of the ghost, which I know is weird because ghosts are usually white. But I'm doing the ghost in black, doing the little frilly bits at the bottom so, you know, it looks like an old torn up sheet. And once I've got that how I like it, I stick that in the lamp for a full 60 seconds. Any second now. Come on, Rebecca. Mm, there we go and somehow I missed myself putting the cat eye on so after that I'd cured that for 60 seconds I've done a layer of cat eye because we have to put it on every nail because I have a sick obsession with it and now I'm going over my cat eye once I've cured it for 60 seconds with milky white and after I've done this I put a matte top coat on which then deletes everything I've done because you can't see the cat eye anymore and I feel like a twat but it still looks all right and you know whatever you live and learn <laughs> Thank you. 
Now once I've messed that up with a matte top coat, I'm going in with my special blend that I've spoken about before of um, my extra thick top coat mixed with some black to give it um, a bit of texture. <laughs> and I'm just drawing the lines at the bottom of the ghost to give it some texture and some movement so it looks like it's got some scraggly bits, rips and whatnot, you know, how ghosts are at the bottom. <laughs> Um, and I'll use this to do the eyes and the mouth as well. And I felt like the top part of the nail was looking a little bit bare, so I'm adding some little stars and dots. Now I'm going to make a 3D snake and I'm just putting down some base gel on my little finger first. I've cured that. Just I find the 3D gel sticks to it better when we do this. Um, it does, it kind of sticks to the matte top coat but not very well. So yeah. And when you're using 3D gel you should wear gloves. I always say this, do as I say not as I do. But you know, you do whatever you want. <laughs> you don't want to get contact dermatitis. But, um, oh, knocked that over. I'm just rolling my snake into, well, into a snake. And I'm placing that on the nail and fighting with it because it wanted to stick to my uh, nails on my right hand instead of the nail I wanted it on. <laughs> I think I get a silicone tool or a brush and, uh, yeah, there we go. And I'm going to use that to move it around now and get it to look like a snake. I'll get a brush as well, put a little bit of alcohol just to flatten the face down so that it looks like it's got a little head. Now once I'm happy with the shape of that, I've stuck it in the lamp for 60 seconds. And now I'm just going to put a little bit of this um, black gel that's mixed with the top coat. Um, so that when it cures, it doesn't have a tacky layer. And then I can put my chrome on it.
I cured that for 60 seconds and now I've got a little eyeshadow applicator and I'm just adding my chrome try my best not to get it on my nail and just on the I was gonna say the sausage then on the snake But because it is raised I can just go in afterwards and give the actual nail a little wipe. I'm going to go over it because you know we've got to use cat eye on every nail. This one's a different one. It's got a little bit of a pink tinge to it but I'm putting some cat eye on top of my chrome now. Um, I haven't put anything on top of the chrome like base coat or um, top coat. I've just gone straight in with the cat eye. And there we go, our little cat eye effect. I'm obsessed, yes, I know. I'm obsessed with cat eye, it's a problem. But it's not a problem for me, so yeah. <laughs> Doing some little eyes and we'll give them a little tongue. Once I was happy with that, I stuck it in the lamp to cure for 60 seconds and now I'm going to just go over everything with some top coat. Make sure that the snake is fully covered in it because it would have a tacky layer underneath. And this kind of, you know, seals it into the nail. Um, you'll see me pushing the top coat into those little wiggly bits and making sure that there's no gel pooling in there. And then I'll stick it in the lamp for 60 seconds and we'll go on to the next nail. And here I'm using my blend of the thick top coat and black again. And I'm going to do a, is it a waning moon? I think. No, it's not. It's a crescent moon. Crescent moon. That's what I'm uh, drawing here. Just crisping up the edges with some alcohol and a clean up brush and then I'll stick that in the lamp to cure for 60 seconds and now I'm going in with some milky white I've learnt my lesson from the ghost so I am doing the milky white before the cat eye because the is gonna have cat eye on it obviously um, <laughs> so now I'm just going over it with some milky white and I'm leaving a bit of a gap between the milky white and the black so that it's got a nice outline. Now I know what you're thinking, but wait. She's moving on to drawing the cat and she's not put any cat eye. But don't worry, because I know I'm adding it to the cat's eyes cat eye on the cat's eyes <laughs> I um, just cured the milky white and I'm gonna do my cat and then I'll do all the cat eye at the end together 
So here I am just drawing out a cat's head in black with my um, concoction of thick top coat and black gel. I'll leave you to watch this because I'm going to paint the shape of the head, then I'll paint the eyes, then I'll do the cat eye and so on and so forth and I'll leave you to watch. I have skipped ahead a little bit because this video is getting quite long and I was faffing around with that cat for a little while and I faffed around with the eyes for a little while but um, here I am just painting the eyes in white and it's always the things that you think are going to be very simple that aren't because it is such a basic shape the circles they need to obviously look symmetrical which seems to be an issue for me so I faffed with these for quite a while until I got them looking somewhat okay my cat does look a little bit bog eyed but you know whatever she still looks cute <laughs> she owns it anyway once I've done the white I cured that for 60 seconds and now I'm going in with the cat eye I did at first paint both eyes and then try to use the magnet but I didn't like the way it went so I wiped it all off and I'm doing one eye at a time And then once I've done both eyes, I'm going to go over them with this jelly yellow so that, you know, it, it has a real kind of yellow cat eye. I feel like I've said cat eye so many times today. Anyway, yeah. Doesn't that look cool? And now I'm giving her those little black kind of pupils, slits, whatever you want to call them. Looking at it now, I wish I'd done a couple of tiny little white dots on the black just to give it that little twinkle. But you know, hindsight, uh, it's too late for that now. I've taken these nails off. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to draw her eyes and then I will do the cat eye effect on the moon and then I will top coat. Oh no, and then I add some stars. Well, there we go, I've got the cat eye uh, on the moon and I'm just doing some dots and we'll do some little stars, yada yada. What do you guys think though? Do you like them? Do you like my Halloween? I was going to say Christmas, my spooky nails. <laughs> We're coming, we are coming towards the end of the video. Um, I don't think I've said it once and I don't think I said it at all in my last video. But if you could like or subscribe if you're enjoying this, um, I really would like to get to at least 200 I'm on like 197, been on it for a little while now. <laughs> but here we are, here's the finished result. What do you think? I, even though they're a bit cloudy and the glitter's not popping the way I wanted to, I do still really love them because they have cat eye on every finger. So yeah. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I hope I haven't made you feel ill or depressed listening to me being ill and depressed. <laughs> but keep an eye out. I'm going to be doing lots more Halloween nails. I hope you have a great day. 
I'm so appreciative that you've watched this far. I love you. Peace out.